Gambia's president, Adam Abaro, and his Senegalese counterpart, President Macky Sall, have unanimously agreed that strengthening certain sectors within the Gambia and Senegal could foster sweet collaboration for the benefit of the two countries. Both presidents uh, believe that easing transportation issues, trade and energy, among others, is a gateway for both countries' development and easy access to one another. Maria Macham has more details of that in this report. The three-day presidential council meeting approach appeared to have solidified the relatively recent reapproachment between the two countries, as shown by the signing of six agreements in various fields, including road and air transportation, health, trade, taxation, and others. The agreement was signed by various ministers responsible for each of the sectors involved in the MOUs. Both President Sal and Baro believe that strengthening such sectors is a collective interest and could further solidify the relationship between the two countries. During the second presidential council meeting in Dakar and explore new opportunities to deepen cooperation in our priority areas. They include defense, security, energy, fisheries, trade and investment, transport, environmental protection, education, youth and sport, consular matters, and border management, as well as our common arts, traditions, and cultural heritage. Soit une réalité à la hauteur des aspirations de nos peuples, if we work together as countries, it will be a reality and it will benefit both countries by living in peace, harmony and security. That is the only way to build the economics of the two countries. One of the most important issues which we discussed in the first meeting includes security, justice, foreign service, transportation as well as tourism, energy and the environment. The countries also identified further key areas of collaboration such as defense, trade, tourism and energy. More particularly, the two countries plan to toughen joint border patrols in a bid to eliminate timber trafficking and further strengthen the poorer senegalese gambian borders to promote the legitimate free movement of people and goods as in the West African Regional Bloc ECOWAS protocols. The high-powered meeting was attended by both presidents and cabinet ministers from both countries, service chiefs and others. The conclusion of the high-level engagement shows that the diplomatic ties between the Gambia and Senegal may remain strong, with the potential for deeper economic ties. Reporting for iAfrica News, I am Mariam Cham.